Welcome back guys to another Tesla video. We got some big news today, especially some leaks of the brand new Model S. A lot of you guys were wondering what's gonna be the inside look of the vehicle. Are there any like real life pictures of the interiors of the Model S? Now keep in mind that the Model S doesn't just have like a refreshed interior, but it also has a really interesting steering wheel, which kind of reminds me of like a Formula One car steering wheel. And the exterior also has a little bit of tweaks here and there, especially the front. It looks a little bit different from the older model of the Model S. Not sure how I like the front look of the brand new Model S 2021, but some people really like it. I kind of prefer the older model since it's a little bit more simple, a little bit more smooth on the front. But hey, I mean, both designs are honestly pretty great. And a lot of people are wondering, especially you guys, what is going to be the Model S look and why the interior design alone could definitely get a lot of people buying the Model S compared to buying other traditional cars out there. So if you check out these photos captured by the Kilowatts, they essentially posted these photos on Twitter and these photos look amazing. And the kilowatts also showed off a lot of the side sensors of the vehicles, the exterior design, the wheels, etc. But the main star of the show obviously is the interior and also the yoke steering wheel, which I'm not really sure how I feel about that either. Now there's some amazing photos in this and what you probably notice is the steering wheel. It doesn't really look like a traditional steering wheel and Tesla has also showcased different functionalities in the illustrations. There's also little markings on the sides and stuff like that. The wheel looks very minimalist with a few buttons here and there. And you also have this really amazing horizontal giant touchscreen display, which looks really good. And there's also different buttons on the side of the vehicles and the sensors outside of the vehicles are pretty big as well. They're very notable, but we should be seeing some amazing increases in autonomous driving and it should be compatible with a lot of brand new software that Tesla will be launching. And if you guys are wondering if you should buy the Model S, honestly, go for it if you have the money. And by the way, kind of make sure to have the autonomous driving software as well. It is $10,000, but keep in mind that you are getting brand new sensors, brand new cameras. So if you do get the FSD beta, obviously you will be having a lot more updates compared to other vehicles out there. Let's say Tesla one day releases some really special software. The older vehicles by Tesla would not be able to get that software, whereas you can because your hardware is like super up to date right now the tesla interiors look really nice love the wood design the car sleeves looks really smooth and overall looks like a very minimal design there's almost like no buttons whatsoever so it's gonna be a little bit weird when you first drive especially using the yoke steering wheel i can't wait to see some vehicle reviews on the car just simply looks super minimalist and nothing really screams anything super exaggerating i think tesla just simply likes a smooth very simple type of design and i love the coloring you got like the black on the back you know got the white you got the wood look in the gray so the coloring looks pretty good and obviously though this is an eighty thousand dollar vehicle tesla did jack the price up like ten thousand dollars so if you want to get this with new wheels new color and also like the autonomous driving you're gonna to have to spend like ninety four thousand dollars it is pretty expensive but we're getting a lot of unique looks here and there on the brand new model s I guess people aren't even looking at the Model S as a sedan anymore. It's almost like a race car at this point. Zero to 60 miles is pretty incredible. And the interiors look great. I mean, with the yoke steering wheel, essentially you just made this into a racing car. Like the only cars in the world that have this sort of a steering wheel are like the F1 race cars. So I think it's a pretty unique design, the interior. It's super different from your traditional car company. So let's just see how this sells. I think it should be all right. Last but not least, let's talk about Tesla Semi. This is pretty important because one of the biggest things with semi trucks lately is the noise complaints. And there's been several videos on Twitter and also YouTube and stuff like that where people actually spotted wild Tesla Semis on the road. It's pretty big because there's some pretty big news and big leaks about these Tesla semis. Everyone's always wondering what is the noise level of this electric semi truck? And a lot of Tesla fans were actually pretty impressed about how incredibly silent it is compared to a traditional gasoline power semi truck, which if you haven't ever been on, it's super loud and you could hear it from like really far away. Like if a semi truck starts their engine, like just a few meters from like a neighborhood or maybe like outside neighborhood on a freeway like you could easily hear it and it's like super loud especially at night this is why a lot of residential areas won't allow semi trucks to go into the area 
which sometimes really makes the logistics system a little bit hard to do. It's because it's just so incredibly loud and just makes everyone like super mad. Noise complaints from traditional semi trucks has been on the rise. It's actually one of the biggest complaints across the US, not because semi trucks are like super slow. It's not because semi trucks are super big. It's because of the noise. For example, in Newcastle, Delaware, a bunch of residents actually were really frustrated on the trucks. They were like loud, smelly, and people just simply can't take it anymore. And so far, there's a lot of big things going on around the country with these traditional semi trucks. I mean, they're super expensive to operate. They're not super safe, especially they don't really have a lot of those different sensors. And obviously the Tesla Semi will definitely solve all of that. Now, the Tesla Semi isn't gonna be as quiet as your traditional Model 3 or Model Y. It is extremely big and it does use up like a ton of battery cells. In fact, it's like five to six times more battery cells than a traditional Model 3 and Model Y. But also keep in mind that this Tesla Semi isn't super quiet, but it should be way quiet than a traditional gasoline powered semi truck. The Tesla Semi is pretty good. It doesn't really make that much noise. So noise complaint wise, it should be pretty good, especially when you have a lot of residents clashing with you. It's gonna slow things down and it doesn't really look so great. So obviously upgrading to the Tesla Semi is a pretty good choice. And by the way, almost no other company out there is making electric semi trucks for General Motors are pretty heavily focused on trying to making their electric vehicle. And that's about it. Whereas other companies out there, they're trying to struggle to try to make a semi truck. You got Daimler, they're doing it, but they don't really have a factory. And if you really look around, kind of no other car company in the world is really making electric semi trucks or taking it super seriously. And even if they are, where is the factory? And where are they gonna get the battery cells for the semi trucks? These semi trucks take like six to seven times more battery cells than a traditional sedan or SUV. So obviously you do need a lot of production for the battery. So I'm really curious to see what Tesla has to offer. I think Tesla Semi is gonna be like a really big seller point for a lot of companies. I mean, UPS, FedEx, they're all trying to go green. Biden has also said that if you're gonna be buying transportation vehicles, please just simply buy it in America. And obviously Tesla is an American company. They make a lot of these trucks here in the US and the trucks aren't even priced like really crazily high. In fact, the trucks are priced very reasonably under $200,000 which may sound expensive, but in the long term, it really isn't, especially with the sensors you get, low maintenance, you don't really have to pay diesel. Diesel is pretty expensive, by the way. And also you do have this really incredible electric system, which is super cheap. You just charge it for a few bucks and can run like 500, 600 miles on a single charge. It's pretty nice and a lot of people seem to like it. It's clean, it's not noisy, and it really does last you a very long time. Electric vehicles last you way longer than traditional gasoline powered cars. That's about it guys, thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe for more Tesla news.